Hello everybody, thank you for joining. Today what we're going to talk about is programming the IntelliPro, the 7794, which is the IntelliPro for our legacy model subscribers. The IntelliPro is designed to connect to your DAC dialer and provide that information to your central station. There are two cards that are required for this, the 7794, which will actually connect to your DAC dialer, and the 7762, which provides hardware supervision of the IntelliPro. Please note that to program the IntelliPro, you need our handheld programmer. The part number is the 7041E. Here are a couple of things I want you to be aware of when working with the IntelliPro. If the IntelliPro is installed, the subscriber must be mounted in no more than 20 feet of conduit and in the same room as the fire alarm control panel DAC. It does not matter if the dry contacts are wired or not. The 7788F is not listed as a primary communication method by UL. The 7788F is not considered primary until it is equipped with the IntelliPro, the 7794, the 7762, which provides hardware supervision of the IntelliPro, and the 7740, which is for local enunciation. All of this is included in the 7795 kit, the 7762 for hardware supervision of the IntelliPro, and the local enunciation with the 7744, but we always recommend connecting the hardwire relays as well. This gives you some redundancy in transmitting your signal to the central station. If you are not using the 7795 kit and you do not connect the dry contacts, then you are in violation of UL as you are not configured for primary communications. For the IntelliPro, there is some minimal programming that needs to be done on the DACT. First, we want to enter the phone number to be called as three fives. The IntelliPro needs to hear three valid touch tone digits to pick up. Additionally, the IntelliPro does not care what those digits are, as long as a POTS line is not plugged into the RJ31X jack. Set the DAC to CID format, set the DAC to touchtone or DTMF dialing. Please note, the IntelliPro will never answer a rotary dialed phone number. When connecting your IntelliPro to the fire alarm control panel, if you can disable the backup dialer, you can wire one connection to the J6 AP tip and ring screw terminals. If you cannot disable the backup dialer, you can wire them in parallel as it appears here. Please do not use the J4, J3, or J5 connections. The J3 connection is for dialing to a telco if you have a POTS line available. This is a second path in order to get your signal back to the central station. The AP jack is not used, and the J4 trouble relay is also not used. When connecting the handheld programmer, please make sure to connect it to J2. You can see it says handheld underneath the correct jack. After you connect the handheld programmer, you'll see a cursor like this appear on the screen. Hit F1 to access the programming menu. You'll see you have three options. F3, which is to change this specific option. So if we wanted to change the phone line from yes to no, we'd select F3 and then select N for no. And then we've changed the phone line to no. If you want to see different options, you'll hit F5 to go down and then F4 will go back up. You will not be able to go up because this is the first option in the menu. Let's go through some of the different options that are available on the handheld programmer. Phone line. This is if you're going to use a POTS line to dial out to your central station. You would connect this using the RJ31X jack on the IntelliPro. Below that, we have the intercept number. This option sets the number programmed in the fire alarm control panel for the 7794 to intercept when the panel dials. Then we have our AP report format. The three options are CID, modem, or pulse. And you'd change that by typing in C, M, or P. The account override is a very popular feature with our technicians. This will allow you to overwrite the account ID from the fire panel programming with the subscriber ID from the subscriber. So in order to install an AES subscriber, you do not actually need to access the fire alarm control panel programming. The POTS input gain increases the sensitivity of the IntelliPro when the IntelliPro is listening to activity on the phone line. The default value is 20 dB, 
Reducing this value will decrease the IntelliPro gain. Then we have our advanced options. If we change this from yes to no, we'll see a couple of different menu options to change. Now that we've changed advanced options to yes, we will see that there is available the AP output gain. Sets the output gain when the IntelliPro is in POTS emulation mode. It is used to increase the gain of the dial tone as well as the handshake and kiss off tones sent by the IntelliPro to the alarm panel. Then below that we have the reset to defaults. If we hit F3 here, we can type in 7794 to reset to the default settings. I'm gonna go ahead and hit E for exit though. Then we have our line cut sensing. This setting enables or disables the POTS line cut sensing report. When set to yes, the line is monitored for cut interruption. Then below that, we have CID 4XX letter. This is for reporting. The, three op the two options, excuse me, are U or C. By default, we're sending U's. Then we have our voltage pump. This setting is only required for alarm panel interfaces that have marginal communication quality with the IntelliPro. By default, this is set to yes. Our final option is clock frequency shift. This is only used for advanced diagnostic purposes. And those are all the different options to programming our IntelliPro. All right. Let's review a couple of the things we've learned about the IntelliPro. First, we want to make sure we have a handheld programmer, a 7041, in order to program the IntelliPro. You will not be able to program the IntelliPro without it. Please make sure that the subscriber is mounted in no more than 20 feet of conduit and in the same room as the fire panel DAC. Want to make sure to install the 7762 card to provide hardware supervision of the IntelliPro. If you do not install the 7762 card and the local enunciator, you are not sending your signal over a primary communication method. Please connect both phone lines in parallel to the screw terminals. Do not connect the RJ31X jack, as this is an output to a POTS line for an alternate way of dialing your central station. The AP account override feature can be used if you can't access the fire panel programming to overwrite the account ID from the fire panel with the subscriber ID. So you do not need to gain access to the fire panel programming in order to install an AES subscriber. If you have any additional questions about using the IntelliPro, please contact us at our support. The number will be following shortly. Thank you very much for taking the time, and I hope you have a great day.